Hi everyone and welcome to this first video for the Year 12 Specialist Maths course. Uh, today I'm going to get stuck into solving polynomial equations over the complex uh, number set. Number set. Um, and so to begin with I'm going to go over just a few of the basics uh, that are required in order to be able to do these questions. So hopefully from uh, doing this work last year or from methods as well you have an idea of the remainder and factor theorems already. The remainder theorem is that if we divide some polynomial p of z by z minus some complex number, we'll call it alpha, then the remainder is given by p of alpha. So we can substitute that value of alpha into the equation and that will tell us what the remainder is going to be. Uh, in addition to that, we have the factor theorem. So that means that z minus alpha, again, alpha is just some kind of complex number, is a factor of p of z if p of alpha is equal to zero. What this means is that the remainder is equal to zero. So it's gone into it perfectly, and so it must be a factor. A couple of other things we need to know in order to be able to do these questions. We need to know the difference of two squares factorization. So a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a take b. We also have the difference of two cubes. So that's where we have a cubed minus b cubed is a take b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. And also the sum of two cubes, which we have a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b multiplied by a squared take ab plus b squared. So we're going to have a bit of a look at some of these questions now. So to do some factorizing and solving, okay? So to do these questions, we're going to employ a number of different strategies, um, namely, you know, when we deal with higher order polynomials, usually we have to guess the first factor. Um, so that's going to be a good starting point for us. So in this first problem, uh, z cubed plus z squared plus four equals zero, I need to guess the first factor. Now, just looking at these numbers, I'm going to guess negative two. So I'm just going to try p of negative two. Okay, and if I do that, then I'm going to end up with negative two cubed plus negative two squared plus four. Well, that gives negative eight plus four plus four, which does indeed equal zero. Okay, so because the negative two worked, we know that z plus two is a factor. So the next thing is that I need to then figure out what's left once we get rid of that as a factor. So I'm going to use some long division here, okay? So I'm going to divide z cubed plus z squared plus four. By z plus two. And so first we ask how many z's go into z cubed? Well, there's z squared. So multiplying that with the z plus two is going to give z cubed plus two z squared. We subtract that. And z cubed minus z cubed cancels out. z squared minus two z squared is negative z squared. So the next thing I need to make a negative z squared. So I'm going to have a minus z term there because minus z by z plus two will give minus z squared and then also minus two z. And we'll subtract that. Now we've really got zero z in the line just here. So zero z plus two z is going to actually make two z. And we've still got a plus four that isn't affected, so we'll bring that down. The last thing is that I need to have a two there because that's going to give us the two Z plus four that we need. Again, we'll subtract that and confirm that we indeed have a remainder of zero. So <coughs> what I can say then is that Z cubed plus Z squared plus four is really equal to Z plus two 
multiplied by z squared minus z plus 2. Well, this is nearly at a point um, where we could sort of solve it. And, and, you know, again, what we're really looking at here is saying, well, now that we've got that factorised, we know that it's equal to 0, so we can use the null factor law. So I might just write that. z minus 2, whoops, that was z plus 2 multiplied by z squared take z plus 2 equals 0. So I'm going to factorise the quadratic factor now and I'm going to do that by completing the square. I've still got the z plus 2 out the front. This is going to become z squared minus z. Now we halve that, we're going to get half z and then we need um, Sorry, well, we're just going to get half, and then we need to square that, so it's going to be plus a quarter minus a quarter, and then plus two. And that's still all equal to zero. So next, z plus two, and here we now have z minus half all squared and then plus 7 on 4 um, I need to turn this into a difference of two squares I should make sure that's still equal to 0 so turning that into difference of two squares I'm going to get z plus 2 out the front of z minus half squared minus 7 on 4 i squared and now we have difference of two squares so we can finally finish factorizing that to give z plus 2 and then z minus half plus root 7 on 2 i and z minus half take root 7 on 2 i Again, that is all equal to zero. So we've completely factorized it, and now to solve it, uh, just need to use the null factor law. So therefore, z should equal negative two, or z should equal half plus or minus root seven on two i. And those are our three solutions to the equation. Now I'm going to stop the video here and pick up the other um, problems in the next video. So see you all then.